Hi everyone, welcome back to Trismegistus as we go into round two of three. And it's Marty's first go, so he needs to draft a die. He's very close to doing this experiment. Let's see, he's got one refined mercury. He could get another with that transmutation. He could get a refined tin with this transmutation. So he needs a black and a white transmutation, really. I think... Now, the other thing is that he would really like this artifact. Marty's very keen on going up these tracks, we've decided. So, this artifact here, it gives him a water symbol, which, you know, one of his, one of his publications once he could get more later. He does get rewarded for how far he is up the water track, doesn't he? But this, every time it would be activated, it would move him up three different tracks. Or go down on a track to go up the same track three times. Ooh. That could be amazing. Okay, this kind of fits in then. So Marty is going to draft from here just because it's the biggest uh, selection of dice. It's going to give him the most potency. And he doesn't have any ethereal dice tokens to boost that up with. So this is going to come in at a four. And straight away, remember one of his publications gives him two points for every artifact that he's got. So, in a way, this, uh, this will work out. Unfortunately, it isn't in a place that will get activated for these particular experiments, because he could put it down here for later, maybe. And if he gets, you know, a red die, if he wants to get some iron instead, or some silver, or maybe when he's transmuting to gold. I just feel like this is maybe more likely to happen. Let's put it down here. So that's another two points if he's going to be able to do this publication, if he gets the elemental symbols enough from experiments, artifacts, and you get a bonus one for getting to the top of each track. So that activates when he buys it. Now the fire elements, he needs to be on six for a level two one, so I'm not sure if he wants to go down here. I think... Oh, this is an idea. He's going to go down on this one. And then he goes up three in the same track. One, two, three. When he passes over this bonus token, he gets to go up any track one space. Now, does he go towards the fire because he's working towards six? Or does he go back up here so he hasn't lost anything? And he's close to an ethereal die token. I think he has got the triangle. Yeah, he'll go back up here. Okay, so Marty's turn, he hasn't spent his potency, he needs to spend three potency, doesn't he? Looking through the camera lens and not at the board. Uh, so yeah, no reactions from him because it's not his chance to react. I can react. Do I want to... Now, the transmutation I want from my experiment is white, so Marty's black dye isn't going to help me there. I could get myself a mercury, reactivate an artifact, artifact, essence is mercury again. I don't think... Considering I've lost the ability to say the word artifact, I don't think I am reacting to anything right now. So it flips over to my turn. And which die do I want? Oh, the artifact needs to be replenished, by the way. This gives you two Earth symbols. And when it gets activated, it will be three of the same raw material. So I think I want a white die then. And I'm going to do the same. I'm picking from a bowl that has a lot in it. I want white because of the transmutation I want to do. And let's see, I am going to spend an ethereal die token, so it comes in at a five, I think. Yes, that's what I want to do. Now, I'm not rewarded for it in my publications, but I am very tempted to get an artifact because the transmutation I'm about to do doesn't have one underneath it. And so it feels like I'm wasting an opportunity by not having one there. Now, it is tempting to have gotten the a black die instead to get those two earth symbols and to be honest re a really good power there but i did go for white and i don't think gaining silver straight up is a bad thing at all so i'm going to grab that and it's going to go where i am going to do my next transmutation so i get myself a raw lead and a refined silver well there's only refined silver and we need to replenish this double fire and that lets you refresh a reactor a reaction token for every fire artifact you have 
I also need to spend my three potency down to two there. So next one's going to be transmutation, I think. I don't know about after that. I think Marty is going to react and do a transmutation. Although, if he does a transmutation, he has to spend... It's okay, isn't it? Because he can spend... He's only got one essence, so he can spend an essence for one, and then on his turn when he needs to do another one, he can spend a mercury. So it's not too bad. Yeah, he is going to... He needs to be at two to be able to do this experiment, so he's going to react. He's flipped that over. He is going to... My colour is white, so he's going to transmute this raw tin into refined mercury. He will spend the sulfur essence to do it. That's going to advance him on the wind track. And his artifact activates, well, he's going to choose for it too, which is level up on fire and get three points. So he goes to level five there. So close to being able to get that artifact. There's only one die there, unfortunately, though. Although you could get three power, couldn't you, with the uh, wild card. And then he needs three points. Oh, this bonus token should be gone because Marty went past it and I was nowhere near. And that's bad because that's meant to be my main element, isn't it? And he, with his triple artifact thing he's racing in front so marty's turn he is using his last potency to do another transmutation he's going to have to spend the mercury to do it and so that's going to put him up the mercury track he is doing this isn't he raw copper into tin takes his first step on the earth track for having spent a mercury oh that's nearly two and he can activate his artifact, so get a refined copper or tin. Hmm, now he does want a lot of copper, doesn't he, for this other experiment, for this here? In that case, I think he should have gotten a load of lead. He should have put that up there and activated it loads for these other experiments. He'll be okay, though. He'll take a refined... He'll take another refined tin. There we go, and the artifact is spent for now. So as a free action, he can now do this. He is at two on the mastery track. He has the correct materials, as you can see. So he's going to spend those. So one of these, two of this. And he gets himself two level ups and an ethereal die token. Doesn't say they have to be the same. So what would he like? Now you could get two up the wind track here and get himself another ethereal die token. He does want to be at 11 for this for his masterwork. So that's tempting. Now level twos want to be on five for water. He does want to do different types as well, doesn't he? Maybe there is still a two earth out there, a three, a five. So I think he wants to be on three on air for this. Although he'll get them from transmutations, won't he? Let's be on three on air. And then he wants to advance on Earth as well. So he'll go up those two. And Ethereal Die Token. This is his first of the water experiments. So it slots in there. And he can either have a formula that gives him two essences of his choice. It's tempting because he hasn't got any essences. Or two wild transmutations. Now, as tempting as the wild transmutations are for saving potency, they still cost essence, and he hasn't got any. So he is going to grab the double essence. And let's see, it would be nice to put it down there, but he would want to have spent both his reaction tokens first. So I think he's going to put it there. That gets him two more reaction tokens. Wow. So I think we're going to see him reacting a lot more. He doesn't have to spend his formula right now. He can wait until he knows which essences he wants. And I think that's it. Am I reacting? I don't think so just yet. I'm happy with the way things are. So on my turn, I I want to do transmutations, don't I, to work towards this. I'm also at zero on the fire track. So if I want to be at three, yeah, I'm a way off that. I could get myself a nice earth. There's, what am I on earth? I'm, I'm zero on earth as well as, I'm on one, aren't I? I was at the same point as Marty. So, I could get that with this card, with, the, with this die that I've got already. Let's see, for materials, I'm quite close to being able to do it. 
but I'm no real, but I'm not really any better off, am I? I'm thinking of working towards my masterwork eventually, which is only you know, I've only got this round and next round to do it in. If I want all of those sweet points, fourteen points for doing that. Let's work on fire though. Let's do a transmutation. So I've got silver already. I've got a white die, so I can transmute my tin to mercury. And we spend a potency for that. We need to spend an essence. So for fire, we want to spend salt. I've got that, so no problem. And we are going to go to the first space on that track. Now I have everything I need, but I haven't got the mastery. But I can get discounts. Now, if you have unlocked a formula in the corresponding column, which I haven't, you can get a discount of either a material or a level on the track. You don't have to move up the track, you just get a discount. You also can for every silver that you spend. So I could spend this two of this silver that I've earned and be able to do this experiment. I could then push myself up in fire, get an ethereal die token. It's tempting. Because then I would unlock another... Oh, oh, I don't have to do any of that. I've got my formula just waiting in the wings here. I'm going to do that. Kick myself up the fire track. And lo and behold, we are ready to do it. I knew that I had something ready and waiting for that. So I need to spend a silver, a mercury, and a copper. All refined. And I have all of that. I've reached three on the mastery track, so I get to go up the fire track once more and get an ethereal die token. There we go. That's grand. And we unlock another formula from the fire column. So two ethereal die tokens or two wild transmutations. I think two wild transmutations would be very nice. I just want to unlock things in the vault, so I am going to put it there so that I get myself a reaction token and another publication. So draw two from the deck, and then I can put one back, even this one. So water experiments. I need to work on that. This is just a straight eight points. And this one, one of each symbol, to get a point for every refined and a point for every two raw materials you have at the end. I think... I do like the idea that they are just one of each thing. And I can spread out a bit. I do have more earth though, so... Yeah, I'm not going to go for the materials one. I'm going to put that one back. Does Marty want to react? His die should be over there, shouldn't it? Technically. Hmm. I think... Does he want to... He doesn't particularly want a tin, does he? He could reactivate an artifact. No, he wants, he wants to get a mercury which he's now just lost with his die, and he wants to transmute it to iron. I think having the material will be more useful than not, and if he can get another formula, then he's got two reaction tokens to refresh. So he's going to get himself a raw tin, because that's the symbol that I've got that he's matching. He needs a new die, and I have to say again, he's very tempted to just grab an artifact. He's got an ethereal die token now. And whilst he wants a white die for the transmutations, maybe a mercury symbol again. So he can get a mercury, transmute it, everything's nice. Always tempting to get another artifact, especially one that will give you a mercury and a load of other things. But that is three potency. I think, yeah, he's going to go for the white mercury and use his ethereal die to boost it to a four. And his action is going to be to spend a potency. Does he want more than one? Maybe he'll spend two potency to get two mercury and put that down there, ready to transmute. He could even do the transmutation in one action, couldn't he? Well, actually, one of the mercury can be used as an essence, so that's... Okay, maybe he should take a third. Yeah, he's going to take a third mercury. Now, I would like to do a reaction, but I don't really have the materials to do it yet, so I'm going to hold off for another turn. So I've still got a potency left here. I'm going to grab myself another experiment. I'm going to try and unlock as many of these formulas as possible, I think, and fill up this grid. That's going to be worth points at the end of the game. So I'm going to grab this Earth one. I'm not a million miles from getting up to number three on the track. So that would be nice. So that is a potency to grab the experiment. Does Marty want to react? I've got a white die, so yes, he's going to get a transmutation in. He's going to spend Mercury as his essence. 
and then he's going to be transmuting Mercury here. He's going to activate this, so he needs to go down in one track and up three in another. He is going to go down here and then up three over here. He's already what he needs here, isn't he? He wants to be up in water. So yeah, one, two, three in water. That's going to give him the bonus to go up in something else. And he could go up in the air, actually, and get the ethereal die token. Yeah, I think that's a nice reaction overall. So he still needs for his experiment. He's got the lead, he's got the copper, he's got the tin. Oh, he's got it all now. And he's at three. So yeah, first things first on his turn. He's going to complete his experiment. Okay, so he needs to spend all of his refined gear. He's going to get himself... He goes up on the track once more. Then two chameleon tokens. So remember, you can spend these at the start of your turn to treat your die as if it was a symbol or colour of your choice. Then that's his first air experiment. So he unlocks something, I think, two free transmutations. And yes, going to plop it in there. So he gets himself a gold, which he could use to unlock another formula, and refresh two reaction tokens. So he's going to have had so many reactions this round and that wasn't even his turn he's going to spend his turn i think getting more mercury he wants to reactivate this because it's so good at getting him up the tracks but he's going to get himself another mercury which yeah he could have planned ahead done last turn and not had to spend two actions doing it I just think that's a good way of him having essence with, with him having not, uh, not got any right now. Although he's got that get two essence, hasn't he? And then get two free transmutations. Yeah, I think he will reactivate his artifact to do that. Again, I don't think I want to react to that. I'm hoping that he gets a die that I want to react to next time. Otherwise, I'll have wasted my reaction tokens. So I haven't got to die. I'm getting my second one right now. And so I would like raw copper to transmute or raw tin to transmute. Yeah, I did just have the four die, didn't I? I do have an ethereal die token, so I can boost whatever I take. It might be actually another white number four that I want. Oh, knocking myself away. Yeah, boring as it might be to keep repeating it. I'm going to spend my Ethereal Die token so it comes in at a four. I'm going to spend two potency for my turn to get myself two raw tin. One of those is going to be Mercury because I can always transmute the refined copper into the refined tin that I need. Marty's, of course, going to react and he's going to refresh his artifact here. Oh, so he needs to spend a token to do that. So Marty's last die already, but remember, you can still use your reaction tokens even when you have finished. Okay, Marty is going to go for one of the wild cards. He's going to turn this. What's he going to turn it into? I think copper. Yeah, he's going to use his ethereal dice that comes in at a four. But yeah, you use the number from the bowl it comes in from, so that's a three but you change the symbol so it's the correct one for everybody copying. So he spends his token. And his first point is going to be grabbing this experiment. This is what he really wants. He is he's at eight on this track already. And he's not far away from... He's got the gold. He's got... He can transmute to the mercury. Probably by reacting from my white die. And the two number fours, he can get the materials here and transmute maybe yeah he's got wild transmutation so it doesn't even matter about how much potency he's got left and there's some good rewards from that and some good points but really his publications don't need more water tokens he he needs to start thinking about getting some other experiments done or some artifacts or something 
I would like to react to that. I would like to get myself a raw copper. Because then I'm not wasting a refined material. I can transmute this. Although, transmuting... Yeah, I've got a white die. If I just... If I just gave up on that and had a transmutation for my turn, then I would be able to do the experiment on my turn, which is more attractive. So let's... So for the transmutation, we need to spend mercury to go up the earth track that I need to. So let's spend that mercury to do that. And now my problem is... I can do the transmutation to get ready, but I'm one short. So I could spend silver, but I really want mercury. Because I want to get up to 11 on that track <laughs> at some point. I need things that get me up tracks, don't I? And I haven't got the potency to get an artifact that does that. This does progress me one space, so let's let's just do it. Let's do transmutation for a power and transmute this. I'm gonna have to spend let's see, what's what would it be useful to be further up? I could I can spend any of the other three. And I do want water experiments, so I'll progress on that maybe. Although I can get rid of that publication if it looks like now I'm not gonna get to do that. And then I can I can spend my silver to get a discount. And then I'll spend the materials, the discount on the mastery track. I'm one short on the mastery track, so one silver means that I'm okay. And so this is going to get me to position three. Then it gets me a raw tin and copper. Then it slots in at the top, and I get another formula. I'm going to grab this to get another gold. I'm just going to use it as a free action to grab a gold. And I haven't filled anything in just yet, but oh, this is brilliant. What I am going to do is spend a gold, another free action that you can do. And what would I like more of? I can refresh my reaction tokens. Probably not as important this round. Maybe next round, because I feel that Marty is going to be finishing. A... Maybe more ethereal die tokens, yeah. I'm going to buy that one. So you put a marker in here to show that you have bought your first formula, and so your next formula that you buy is going to cost you two gold. I'm going to put it here. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe that was a bad idea. I'm not going to get ethereal die tokens. I'm going to get some publications, maybe. And so now I get myself three raw mercury, which is going to be brilliant for transmuting things and moving up the earth track that I want. And I get two more ethereal die tokens. That's why I didn't really want the formula that gave me even more of them just yet. I'm just going to activate this and have a look at some publications. So my two new ones want me to have done water and air or water and fire. And so get rewarded for being up the air and earth tracks or the fire and earth tracks. I am decently up the fire track. But yeah, the, the symbols to activate it are different than what you actually need to be up those tracks. Yeah, I think fire and earth is better. Or we could keep both of those and just get rid of the... I do have earth things, though. I kind of want that still, and maybe we'll do more water experiments. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, does Marty want to react? Of course he does. He's got the tokens to do it. He is going to transmute, and he... He's going to grab some essences. Yes, he's going to get himself two wheels. Well, two ether, so that he will move up the right track. And yeah, spending one to do this transmutation. That's... Oh, he's, he's already way, way up this track. Which other track would he like to be up? Fire. Yeah, so he'll actually have the salt instead and have spent one so that he goes up the fire track. His artifact actually moves him up again, and he gets three more points. So yeah, all those points just from this artifact, basically. And that's spent again. So he's got the mercury he needs. He's got the gold he needs. He needs these two now. He would really like this artifact, though. He's got the black die. It's just it's two Earth symbols for these publications. Does he hold off on experiments? He doesn't want to hold off, though. 
He wants to get himself at least two of this. Yeah, let's say two. And get himself two raw materials. I've just knocked that to the wrong symbol, haven't I? There we go. And then he can do all of this now. Yeah, he can. He can do his two wild transmutations. So they don't cost potency, but they cost everything else. And so he'll do... It's unfortunate he hasn't got this to activate, because he'd only need to do one transmutation, actually. Ooh. So actually, he's going to wait. And... If I draft a black die, he'll be able to react and do it all. But what if I don't draft a black die? So what if he waits then and just spends his action to get one of them? And maybe, yeah, stretch it out a little bit so he can hopefully get to see which die I take. Yeah, that's a plan. I think I'm just going to transmute so I can get some use out of my artifacts because I don't think I've used any yet. So two more essences, I will just, I'll take two salt, I think, and paid my react, that's my last reaction to do that, get two of those, and I, what am I spending to go up though, I'm spending mercury, aren't I, because I want to go up the earth track as much as possible, I get myself a chameleon token, for my actual action, I'm going to do another transmutation, I'm not sure which experiment I'm taking yet, but yeah, I want to make sure all of this is used. I'm going to spend uh, Mercury again, so I'm going up the Earth track. I'm at five now. And then my artifact gets me a silver and... Um, what's this? Oh, it's lead, isn't it? So I've used two of my things, and I'm ready now to transmute and do a third. But I'd need a black die for my last one for that. That's it for this die. Does Marty want to react? No, he's waiting, isn't he, to see which die I take. Actually, I don't think he needs to use my reaction, does he, at all? He can just go one along, activate his artifact, turn done. I need to draft a new die, and the most I'm getting is two power, three with my ethereal die token. Which, which experiment do I want? What could I get the most use out of? What am I closest to being able to do? I'm actually one transmutation away from doing that, but very far away on the track. I'm only at two, and I need to be at six. So we could think about something else. I do want more water experiments. So what about that one there? I've got the lead. I'm close to getting the refined copper. I have the other two. I only need to be at three. It's a level one thing, though, so fewer points. The rewards aren't as great. I think, I think I'm actually not going to get an experiment right away. I'm going to just go for... I don't care what symbol it is. Marty needs, he doesn't really need anything from me, does he? So I'm just going to grab this one. I'm going to use an ethereal die token, so it's at a three instead of a two. I'm going to use all of its potency to grab myself an artifact, and I am going to go for, you know, I want the water symbol to help me out, and this is going to be, you know, a lot of, a lot of advancements on different tracks. Fair enough, but still. So I get the bonus for buying it. Oh, a new one comes out in case Marty wants it, but he can't have it. Can he get yourself a gold? That's really good. Uh, so on three different tracks, I definitely want to go up Earth. I want to go up Fire as well for scoring this. And if I want to keep doing water experiments, I want to go up that. But yeah, I haven't been doing that. I want to do my transmutations. So my first one is going to be silver to gold over here. And I am going to... Oh, it's unfortunate I can't interrupt this. No, I definitely can't. I am going to spend a mercury, so I can go up there. And activate this again, and go up three different tracks. I'm going to choose the same three. So I'm going to get myself an ethereal die token. That is spent now, unfortunately. And since this is going to be the last turn of the round, I think... I don't necessarily need this transmutation, but I'm going to do this. And let's pay 
the salt so we can go up in fire once more. Just so that I'm activating all of my artifacts, you know? And that's, uh, that's a nice little bonus to have. So that's my two transmutations. I went up a load of tracks doing that, and I now have two gold. And the reason I wanted to do that... Yeah, I've got two gold that I'm going to spend to unlock another formula. Or maybe I want to do that next round. Yeah, I don't think I want to just do it just yet. I might do the... Unlock this one. Oh, I don't have to spend it right away, do I? Yeah, let's just do it now. I'll unlock this, so... That one cost me, so we put a thing there to show that I now need to pay three for my next formula. I'm going to pop it there, and that is going to give me four essences. I'm going to take them all as mercury. You see the symbol there is like one of any essence, and mercury is an essence. I'm going to put them all there, and that is really going to help me. I only need to go up three more spaces there, to be honest. I do need a lot of materials to get there, though. But I think we can do it. Marty surely wants to react because he isn't going to get a chance to again. So he can't transmute anything along red. I've got the tin symbol, so he could just get himself a tin. Not, not very exciting. Or he could activate an artifact, but he's, he's got activated artifacts. He needs to get used. He wants wire. Maybe he'll spend a chameleon token and do a transmutation here to get the benefit of this. Should this be flipped over? I don't know, subtitles will tell you that. He wants to react for something. He could activate an artifact, but yeah, he's, he's only going to get to do one more transmutation. Has he not got a reaction? He's, I've just flipped his reaction token, haven't I? He's just going to get himself a tin then. There we go. And on his turn, he did want to transmute this, didn't he? To do his experiment and get that done. But does he do this transmutation? Because that moves him up more tracks. No, he's, he's going to do this one. He's going to stick to the plan, save his chameleon tokens for next time. And so he's spending... What does he want to go up on the most? He wants to go up on fire and water. He's going to go up on fire. Yeah, he's got the salt to spend. He's going to go up on fire because this is going to give him the ethereal die token before I can take it away from him. His bonus is a refined copper or tin. He's going to get copper. He needs a lot of copper for this. Yeah. He also needs to go up the tracks a lot. So he's going to get himself a refined copper for the transmutation. And then let's do the... Wait a minute. Oh no, he wants, he wants to refine this, doesn't he? So he can actually do the experiment. Okay, so now he's got the tin, the mercury, the gold to be able to do this. He's definitely past five, isn't he? Yeah, he's on eight on that track, so he's fine there. So his rewards are going to be, go up any track, go up the water track again. So go up the water track, going up any track. I think he'll just choose water, so he's closer to that 11 point mark. So he's got two points there for reaching that space. He'll get four and then seven if he gets all the way. Now the free transmutation, it would be perfect if he could transmute this mercury into iron and activate this artifact. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? This one's already spent. But unfortunately, Marty hasn't got any other essences. I don't believe he's got any way of earning any other essences. Oh, he's got no potency, we need to remember that. So if he wants to do a transmutation, it's going to have to be for Mercury over here and spending this Mercury to do it and going up the Earth track. I don't think that's worth it. So oh, it's wasteful, but he's not going to do that wild transmutation. He's going to get eight more points, though, at the end of the game. And this is going to slot in here and be another water symbol for all of those purposes. His publications there, not really needing any water symbols. But we're at the end of the round, aren't we? So, oh, I should have been first. I passed first. So Marcy's going to be second next round. And I'll just do all of the refreshing, and as if by magic, you will see round three appear before your very eyes. This is the situation we find ourselves in for the third round. I'm first again. So which die would I like? We want to be thinking about doing this experiment. I'm not too far off. I'm three spaces off doing it. How about materials? I'm nearly at my two mercury. Silver, one transmutation away. I've got the copper, I've got the tin. I need to do two white transmutations and a red transmutation. 
And three transmutations will move me to there. And that will give me three gold, unlock some more formulas. Ooh. Well, actually, I've only got space to unlock one more. I'm going to go for red. Maybe I don't want over there. Let's see, thinking of symbols that I want. I don't necessarily need more earth, I don't think. I want water or air more than anything. But in terms of what's come out, to get a water experiment, yeah, not great. So I've got chameleon tokens that I can change it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take red. I'm going to use an ethereal die token so I can put it on the five space. And my first act as owner of this red die is going to be to grab an artifact. I'm going to move my potency all the way down to two there. And I would like this one. It's, a wa it's another water symbol. That's only my second water symbol, and I need you know, three if I want to score all of these things. I would like this one as well, not particularly for its power, but for its double air symbol. Because I need four air symbols. I've got one, two at the moment from the experiment and the thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here. Yeah, and this gives you your choice of three from going up a track, Wild Transmutations, Refresh a Reaction Token, get a Silver, get an Ethereal Die. Brilliant. Yeah, so that's my action is get an Artifact and we get a new thing here. This is three Transmutations, but along the red arrows. I don't think Marty's going to react just yet. He needs a Die, though. He needs a lot of this. So it's tempting to get lead, although in this, in the early stages, maybe he wants, oh no, he's going to have to go for this. He's going to have to go for, let's see, black lead is what he's going to need, I think, to get these materials. What's that going to put him on four? Hmm, it's not great, is it? What if to start out with, he just goes with this here? He can use a chameleon. So he's going to put it on five by spending an ethereal die token. He'll actually, oh, he did want to go for black for the transmutation, but he'll go for white because he's going to grab an artifact as well. Even though he gets the points for artifacts, I seem to have gone for more of them. He's going to put this here and that's going to help him out. So right away, he's going to get himself two of his choice out of these. So getting... That's two of the three he needs, isn't it? For this. He needs golds, though. Oh, no. Yeah, so maybe his next die is going to be getting a, another artifact to try and get golds. It's going to be rough. Okay, I do want to react to that. I'm going to do a transmutation. I'm going to spend Mercury to do it. And that moves me up to the 9 spot. I need to be on 11. That does go over an artifact, so I'm going to get myself a silver and a lead. So that's the second silver I need, actually. I don't need to do this transmutation. That's a bit annoying <laughs> because I'm ready to do that. Yeah, can't complain though, can you? <laughs> okay, my turn. I'm still going to do the transmutation because I want to activate the artifact. So I'm going to spend Mercury again to do it. So that's going to go up there. And which three things do I want? First up, I'm going to have a wild transmutation. A wild transmutation. Put me up to 11, which is where I need to be. Get myself a gold, which activates this. And I can go up three different spaces. So I'll go up one, two, three there. And I've got myself a gold. I will do... I need two silver. My second thing is going to be another wild transmutation. To another gold. I'm going to need three gold, aren't I? Although, no, I don't need to do this. The, re the reward for this is three gold, which I can use for the spending. So my... So I don't need any more wild transmutations, I don't think, right now anyway. 
I think having another ethereal die token will be great because I can I'm going to be drafting two more dice. And I will go up I'll just go up a track for my third thing. Yes. There we go. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we're nearly ready, aren't we? Are we completely ready? Oh, what one more transmutation I need to do. And I can do that with uh, Marty's white die reacting to that. Marty's going to react and grab himself a Mercury so that he's got Essence, basically, to do transmutations with. He's going to get himself an Essence, I think, with his turn. Spending this symbol gets you the Sulfur, is that? No, the Ether. I want to react so I can do this transmutation. So I can go up there. I need to spend something. I don't mind spending. Let's spend the is it salt. Yes. Because I can get some points for being high up here. And I do get, uh, I get these points as well for it. No artifact there, unfortunately. But yeah, that's going to put me in the right position to do this, I think. I think I'm ready now. It's my turn. I've got the two silver, the iron, the two mercury, the tin, and the copper. So I can do this. And I'm at 11, I'm at 12 on the track, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, let's do this. So two silver, this, both of these, spending pretty much everything that I have. But this is your masterwork. Yeah, so all of that spent. I get myself three gold. And that's done. So I don't have to think about that now. What am I going to do with two more dice? I can spend three of this gold. Now, I don't want two more ethereal die tokens, I think. Let's, uh, let's have a look at publications. I'm going to spend three more gold to unlock this. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking about my transmutations. So I'm about to unlock a load of things. So, yes, yeah, spent gold to unlock that. So, immediate things. First, I unlock two publications. So, so this is two points for every earth or water artifact. Oh, no, no. So, I've got two points for the symbols on my artifacts. So, earth or water. So, I've got an earth. What have I got here? I've got a water. But another water, three, and another earth. So that would be worth eight points. But points for going up the fire and the air track. That needs less to activate. So I'm tempted to go for that. I just haven't got many of the air symbol to keep activating that. Whereas I've got... Yeah, just in all of these, I don't think I'm going to have the right symbols to activate any of these things. I have got more Earth now, though, from doing the experiments and having the artifacts, so I'm going to hang on to the Earth. Okay, then I can have two more silver and three raw, art raw materials. So let's have two silver. You know what would be better? I'm going to have a little take back here. Before I did my free action of doing the experiment, I'm going to do my actual action of reactivating an artifact. That's what that's going to be. And so, with that in mind, I get three raw artifacts, so what would I like? I could be making more silver and gold. Let's see, I'm going to have one there, because I'm going to get to do three transmutations in a minute. Yeah, let's have... I've got one there, I've got one there. And let's have the other two... there. So, transmutations. Three wild transmutations. I'm going to do one here, and let's spend the salt again. So more points, more, more points. Now suddenly I'm doing well on the tracks. And three different track advancements. One, two, three. Over there. Then I'll do this transmutation. Spending, let's spend the ether. So I can try and get up to the points section over here. And that's going to give me some more... Essences, let's take two more ether, and we might as well do this as a free transmutation, spending another ether, putting me up another space, 
and that's going to activate this, which gives me another lead and a uh, copper. But I didn't take the thing, did I? I didn't take the publication that gave me things at the end of the game. Maybe we should, we could do a publication now. So a load of fire and a load of earth. So this gives you points for every air symbol, not very good. Points for every water symbol is better. I just don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to have the symbols for all of these things. Since it's the last round also, I might as well refresh two of my reaction tokens here so that I've got the most reactive abilities. So that's all spent. I don't think Marty wants to react just yet. So on his turn, and Marty wants to do this transmutation here, he will spend the ether to do it. So that's going to put him up the track again. And that's going to let him go down a track to go up another track three times. So I think he'll go down this track. It's a bit of a lost cause, isn't it? And go one, two, three. There we go. Quite high up on there. He still needs his gold, though. So that's his last essence there, his last potency. So do I want to react? Gold is worth points, so I would like to react and activate this again. Although it's less and less useful. Yeah, it's, it's less useful because of the... I can only go up two different tracks now. Or is, maybe we do this one. Yeah, let's reactivate an artifact with my reaction. And let's do that. Because turning things to silver... Not a huge stretch to go to gold. I probably want to get another experiment. I need another die first, though. So I have lots of gold, lots of silver, potential to get more silver. I have a lot of lead and copper and a bit of tin. Is there a good experiment out there for me? I think this is very doable. I'm going to grab... This is, this is what Marty wanted to do, unfortunately. I'm going to grab a wild card here. And which colour do I want it to be? I need red for the transmuting the silver, but I need white. I do have a chameleon token, though. I'm going to take... Should we take red again? Or oh, we need an artifact out here. I'm just thinking maybe I'll take an artifact as well. For a symbol that I need. No, I definitely take the red. So with an ethereal die, that's going to go on the four space. I'm going to turn it to the iron symbol. And I'm going to... Now, I was going to take this experiment... Yes, and I'm sticking with that plan. I'm going to grab this for one potency because I'm very close to this. I just need a mercury and I can transfer that. I can transmute that tin. One more transmutation for the silver, which will give me wild transmutations, which I can use to get that. So I think that's going to work out nicely. Marty's going to react and get a raw material. He is, so it's matching my symbol. So Marty's going for red. Yes. Is he? Yeah, why not? You know, for red, use an ethereal die token so it goes on four. And he's going to grab this artifact because he wants silver and gold. And it's going to go... Where should it go? I think up there, maybe? Yeah. So he gets himself a silver and a gold. That's most of his potency used. We need another one to come out and get you some materials. Because that's Marty's biggest problem of how to get the gold. But I think that's solved now. So that was his action. Do I want to react to that? I think, yes, I am going to activate this, although it's not as powerful as it could be. On my turn, I think I'm going to do three transmutations. They all have to be along the same arrow. One, two, three. No, I can't afford to do that. I'm just going to do two. Yeah, let's just do two. So I've still got one potency left. So two transmutations. I will do them both on the ether there. So that's some more points. And... So now I have the silver I need there. I get my three free things. One's going to be a wild transmutation. 
up to gold there, which I have to spend this for. Not as useful because I'm quite far away from getting anything over here. But then that activates this and I can activate that artifact. So that's some more points. And I have two more things I can get from this. I could have I could have just got more silver from that and just do one transmutation. Well, actually, I can get myself a silver as my second thing. And my third thing can be another transmutation. So I got another gold. Gold's worth points at the end. Only gold and ethereal die tokens, I think, are worth that. And I'll use a triangle to do that to go up there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And so I just need to do a white transmutation. And then I am ready with my mercury. Marty wants to react. He wants to do a transmutation. He's going to have to spend a mercury to do it. And that does give him one on the earth track there. And it's going to be over here because he's reacting to my red die. So he's going to transmute that. And he's going to activate the artifact, which is going to give him, lean over and stretch, another silver and another gold. So on his turn, he just needs this now. One thing that he's going to do is spend his spare gold here to unlock a formula. Does he want free transmutations? No, he wants to refresh reaction tokens, I think. That's going to go there. And he's just going to use it. He might as well. And he's going to use a chameleon token to treat his die as if it was a lead symbol, just so he can use his action to get himself a lead. And then he can transmute that. It will all, this will all kick off. It will all be grand. And then he can do this. Do I want to react? I don't think I do. I could actually activate this. I don't have any essence, do I? No, I don't. I'll activate that for now. And for my turn, when you use the iron symbol to get essence, you can choose which one you'd like. I will take triangle, please. So that's my quick turn. Marty, I think he wants, he wants a black dice. Deep purple song. Uh, so he can transmute this. I don't think he's going to get to do other things after this. I don't think he's going to get to do another experiment. Maybe a low level one. He's going to grab this black. Although Mercury, getting more essences, is what, which is what he needs for transmutations. Yeah. He hasn't got an ethereal die token, unfortunately. Oh, okay. What, what about this? He's going to spend it all to get this artifact down here and he gets himself an essence or maybe a mercury for every fire or water experiment he's done. He's done three of those. He's going to get himself an ether and a mercury. Oh, he gets three, doesn't he? Another mercury then. Then free actions. He is going to activate this for two transmutations. This one, he'll spend an ether for and go up to the top of that track. And he'll activate it to get... Hmm, what does he particularly want out of these things? It doesn't matter, actually. They're going to get spent on something more useful. So that was his first one. His second one is just going to go along here. And he'll have to spend a mercury for that and not go very far on this track. But he does go up here and get three more points. So he's on 18 now. And that artifact is spent. So is that one. And... Yeah, doing his experiment. That's very important. So three of these. One of this. And two gold. He is at 11 on the track, so he can do it. And his power is turn three refined things into gold. And that's why he's got these three here. So they all become gold. And he has never bought a formula, has he? He must have bought one. Yeah, he must have bought this one here. Yeah, that's a shame. I got excited. I thought he was going to get to buy two there. But no, that's not going to be the case. So he should buy things. I think he is going to buy this one. 
because... Oh, no, ethereal die tokens are worth points. He's going to grab that. So that's going to get him top and bottom to silver and to look at some publications. So we'd like publications, really, that get you a load of water. Now, he hasn't got many earth symbols, I don't think, and he hasn't got many uh, air symbols to be able to earn that in the first place. So he's going to keep that one. Gives you points for having gold and silver. They're worth more than their, well, two more points on top of the point they're already worth. He might as well use this to get his two ethereal die tokens. And yeah, that is probably it for Marty. You can do reactions still. I'm going to react and get myself a... No, I'm actually going to reactivate this. So I can just use it again. No, let's get, let's get a Mercury so we can do more transmutations. Yeah. Get a Mercury, because that's the symbol Marty's got. And now on my turn, I want, I want a white die. So I'm going to grab just this one, just because it's got the most potency. So by spending an ethereal die, I can put it in the four. And I'm going to do a transmutation along here. Yes. Maybe we should have a red die. Yeah, so that came out there, so I could have the red 5, and that would go on 4 as well. Yeah, let's we'll use the chameleon token for just this once, treating it as if it was white, so we can do this. Oh, that was there, wasn't it? We can do this transmutation, and that's going to cost me... Let's spend that so we can go up the track. And I now have the right stuff, don't I? Because now I can use the rest of the red transmutations to maybe get some more gold. So yes, I have two reds, a mercury, two silvers. And so my reward is going up <laughs> you know, these three tracks, which I, I can go up one of them there. I get a bonus movement. I'll take that. And then I get one movement of my choice. I'll take that. Wow, I could get to the top of all of them here. In round one, wasn't it looking like Marty was really together with it? <laughs> Marty can still react. He is going to transmute. Let's see, he's going to go along here by spending the mercury and going up this track so that he can get some more essence. So he gets four essence now because he's done another experiment. He will take it all in triangles. And that's spent. I might as well try and react. And what's Marty got? Black. Mercury. Just, I'll just get another Mercury in case for transmutations. Because, yeah, I haven't got any essence. So on my turn, I'm transmuting. Although, am I transmuting? I could get another artifact and therefore another symbol. In fact... Oh, I haven't got any chameleon tokens. That's frustrating. It's, it's a bit of a shame that you can't really see the symbols that you have here. I don't think I've got any other fire symbols than the one on my completed experiment there. And I would like another one. See, I've got, I've got a red die. And it gives me transmutations. Oh, yes. Let's get this. We can put that there and immediately get three transmutations. So that goes down there somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I can get three transmutations. So the first one can be... I'm only going to get to do two because I haven't got the uh, essence for it. The first one goes there. Yeah, and spend the mercury for it. I can't go up that track anymore. But then I activate this, and I am going to get... I'm going to go up this track twice for my two things. And my third thing, another free transmutation isn't really going to help. I'll get an ethereal die token because it's a point. So that's spent. My, that was my first of three transmutations. And my second of three will be up there. Spend a mercury. I can't go up there anymore. And I can't do the third transmutation because I don't have any more essence. Marty reacting can do another transmutation just so he's got another gold. So he has to spend this and go up this track and it's definitely worth i think it's nine more points to get another formula out here so he's going to spend two gold and i don't think 
I don't think anything can particularly help him. Oh, what about... Oh, 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 oh. Transmutations. Uh, getting essences. They put him up tracks. He doesn't need to go up. Let him refresh reaction tokens, but it's too late for that. This is the last reaction, isn't it? So yeah, he spent those two. We need a marker there to remind us how many he's paid for. And... He's going to get three raw materials, and he's refreshed the reaction tokens already. Three raw materials. I don't know, let's just put them there. But then he can get two free transmutations. Oh, this is actually a good last turn. He's going to do them both here. Spend triangles for both. So that's going to put him up there twice. Oh, it's not so great. He must have bought one there, because there's no experiment there. So to have gotten one, he must have bought it. So his fourth one is going to cost four. And he's only got three gold. And I don't think there is any way he could have done that better. Yeah, going up there would have made no difference. So I think it was almost perfect. He was almost going to fill that in, but no, he's just a bit short. Okay then, so it's on to final scoring. Okay, so here's where the player aid is actually a bit useful. On the back of here is uh, the final scoring. So first up, we have the completed experiments that we've done. So these are also going to count for elemental symbols. So let's grab mine. So I've got myself five, eight, 20, 27, 32, 46. And they're my first points. There we go, you can see how the scores stand. Marty's, he's got 5, 12, 16, 24, 34, 41. But he does have points already. So he's on 59 there, still got a bit of a lead. The next thing we do is publications. These will all have been secret, and so we can use symbols from... We get one bonus for everything we got to the top of. We get a symbol from each experiment we completed and then from our artifacts. So let's, I'll, I'll just work out how I'm going to spend all of this because you can only use each symbol once. So for mine, in terms of points, these are both worth eight. These are both worth eight. This one's worth six because I have two completed water experiments. These are worth the most because I'm at the top of each track. So these are worth... 24 points each. So... Yeah, if I can spend the right thing, so I spend my symbols from my two experiments there, and then one air experiment and one air artifact for that. And then my artifacts can do the symbols for that, so that's 48 points. I don't have three fire symbols for this, so that can just be out of the question. I don't have one of everything for this. Do I have... I don't have an air to do this either. But these two are definitely the most points. So these three are, can just be thrown away. And then 48 plus 46 is 94. Okay. That's a decent number of points. Okay, for Marty, unfortunately, he only got two air. And so the only thing he can do is his most lucrative... But it's, uh, it's 24, so he's only got one. So he's on 59, so that'll put him on 83. So yeah, he's a bit behind now. The formulas in your vault count towards completion of your Philosopher's Stone. So based on how many you've got in your vault, this is how many points you get. I got all of them, so I'm going to get 36. Marty is only going to get 25. So I'm on 130, Marty on 108. Then leftover things, gold and ethereal die is worth a point each. So Marty's got three gold, four, five there. And I've got four gold and one ethereal, so five for me. So no difference in the gap there. Mastery tracks, well, I'm at the top of all of them. So I'm going to get 28, Marty's going to get 14. So that's 163 to 127. And the last step is determining the winner, which is the person with the most points, which in this case is me. I really thought Marty was going to steamroll me after the first round, but yeah, I clearly got myself into gear and started researching the Philosopher's Stone. I went through the mirror of Everset. You don't go through it, do you? Well, they passed a stone through it. 
Anyway, that's besides the point. This was Trismegistus, or a name similarly pronounced to that, hopefully. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then you can click the link on the screen and you will find out that. If you would like to see one of over 300 playthroughs, there will surely be something suggested on screen that you might enjoy. Maybe Teotihuacan, which is also from Danielle Dashini, who is one of the designers of this. I'm going to go and have a good lie down now because my brain is a little bit melted. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching.